It's finally happened. Dokkan Fest Lord Slug is coming. How's it everybody? Kelsic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video, we have the details and animations for the next Dokkan Fest exclusive coming to both Global and JP Dokkan. Yes, that's right. As many of you guys are aware, we are fully synced. That means every release, barring the few that we have yet to receive yet on Global, is releasing at the same time. And with that, of course, we know that does mean there is going to be pity available for all this. So we're going to talk about what this unit does. We're going to take a look at the animations. We're going to kind of give our overall kind of thoughts on him since I am recording this a little bit later. Um, unfortunately, when the details dropped, I was at work, meaning I couldn't record. Therefore, you know, we've had time to sort of digest what, you know, this guy does. And so we can kind of give a more nuanced idea of, you know, our thoughts on him. So let's go ahead. Let's dive on in. Let's 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 watch the animations first here. So let's pull that up. We're going to uh, watch the animations here, adjust your headphones, do whatever you need to do. We're going to turn off the lo-fi and let's take a look here at the animation. So I specifically avoided the animations up until this point. So let's go ahead and let's take a look here. Okay, so this is the uh, animations for the banner unit. They look pretty good. Dude, that is a pretty good entrance animation. And he has a domain too, all right. Oh dude, that is a sick Toloki attack. And of course they did the animation for giant form. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Okay, so there you have it. There is the animations. They honestly, for a monthly TY, they actually look pretty darn good. Am I just crazy? There's something about the way Dokkan handles OG Dragon Ball Z in the animation. It just looks so much cleaner than their super animations. I don't know what it is, right? But anyways, he does look good. So I can't wait to check out what he's doing here. So let's go ahead. Let's hop on over here and let's take a look. So he introduces a new category, Demonic Power, Inhuman Deeds, or Movie Bosses for 170%. He's also given an additional 30 to Terrifying Conquerors and Space Traveling Warriors. He's got an entrance animation that he activates once only. It gives him attack and defense 200% and reduces damage received by 33% for the rest of battle and creates the domain Earth Shrouded in Clouds for three turns. Nice little nod there. Um, he's got... Um, where are we? When there are three or more demonic power category allies on the team. Okay, so on his entry turn, as long as you have three or more demonic power characters. Now, this is really interesting. We're going to talk about the demonic power category in a minute, but uh, this, I mean, this is a pretty easy thing to fulfill given the category. He he also has key two and attack and defense 200%. Wow, that's 400% attack and defense. That's crazy. And reduces damage received by 33. Whoa. Okay. If his entrance procs, that's 66% damage reduction. Wow. Okay, he launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack. He also has an additional attack defense 50% with each attack reform up to 200%. Dude. Wow. Okay, he also foresees enemy super attack uh, within the attacking turn, starting from the turn in which he receives the fifth attack in battle. And he has a scouter. Yes. Oh, man. Scouters is one of my favorite... Um, abilities that is nice he also recovers six percent hp when hp is six six percent or less at the end of the turn recovers ten percent 
25% HP at the end of the character's attacking turn and all allies key to... Where are we? While wow. Domain Earth Shrouded and Cloud is activated. Nice. Okay. So that's actually pretty... I mean, this is actually really, really good. He's got a lot going for him. Again, attack... He's got 400% attack and defense once that domain procs, which it, can, it seems like it can be... Act, it activates as part of his entrance animation. So you're gonna have it as long as you have those three allies. Um, and... Of course, this does apply to both. It being an entrance animation, I know people are getting messed up with the domain, but I want to clarify right now, because this is an it, it is part of an entrance animation, just like all other entrance animations. When it procs for one, it procs for both. So that way there's no clash there. All right, now. But what that does mean, I believe, is that it you can't proc it a second time, right? So, like, once the domain runs out for the turns that it is uh, allotted, you're not going to proc a second uh, Earth Shrouded and Clouds domain. But at that point, you'll have other uh, options. So, um, that's, I mean, it's honestly not that bad. 66% damage reduction along with 400% attack and defense, pulling up to 600% once he gets fully built up. I mean, this dude is going to be a really nice tank. He's probably going to start in slot two, but I've, by the time he's fully built up, I could see him easily going into slot one. Um, like, I want to look at his defense here, right? So, fully built up, right? Start of turn defense with 40% support. But, I mean, that's you're going to have more than that. But we'll just say, on average, about a million with 66% damage reduction. That's going to tank a lot. I mean, a Gogeta and Janimba Super. Yeah, okay, so maybe not slot 1. But 1 1.8 with 66% damage reduction. That's going to be solid slot 2. Um, okay, all right, that's not bad. Um, that's actually really, really good for a monthly TR, so I'm liking that. Now, he does have an active skill to turn giant form. Can be activated 60% or less or from the first, uh, fourth turn from the start of battle. Massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage. Oh, so okay, the giant form is... Interesting. Okay, so the giant form is just an active skill attack. Okay, it's nothing. It, it it's nothing extra. Okay, I mean that's that's fine because uh, we actually have the fizz one who could possibly easy a. So actually, that's probably fine that he's not in giant form. I probably should have seen that in the name. Yeah. Um. But okay. So overall, really really good. He's going to be an excellent uh slot two defensive character. I'm curious to see what his offense looks like. Nobody's quite done the calcs for his offense yet, but I mean, it's, I mean, with 600% attack and defense, I could see him doing some pretty decent numbers, right? I don't think he's out damaging like Janemba or, right, the Brolies, but I mean, he'll do enough on a movie boss's team, right? He'll probably be on par, I think, with LR Turles in terms of damage. Um, he doesn't have any, does he have... He has just one additional super attack and is a 70%. So, I mean, at least at least he has an additional. Um, what's he doing on that? So, his super attack is just raising attack and defense at the turn. Okay, so, I mean, he's not stacking or anything. He's just getting what he's got. But it looks like what he's got is going to be pretty darn good. Like I said, judging by the numbers here, I'm... I'm He's, he's looking to be about on par with LR Turles in, in terms of damage, which is which is pretty good for a monthly TUR, actually. So, I mean, I'm okay with that, especially because, you know, you can then throw LR Turles on this team, right? He is on, um, move, you know, he's, he's, le he's leading movie bosses, and a lot of the other characters that are going to be on the team that you're going to want are also Terrifying Conquerors, Space Traveling Warriors, and Planetary Destruction, even though he himself is not on it. You know, he's going to have enough to fulfill the Turles condition to make Turles viable um, in Frieza to a degree, actually. Although, yeah, because Frieza's on his Inhuman Deeds lead. So, actually, this is this is actually a pretty solid leader skill, all things considered. I'm really liking him. Uh, this could be a really, really fun... Um, this could be a really fun unit for a monthly TUR. So, he did also get a banner unit. For the Angula and Metamacha, um, they, they look pretty good. Um, they Probably one of the better banner units that have released this uh, this year. We're not going to spend too much time on them, but they definitely did cook with these guys. They are 
pretty wild, actually. Um, they're going to do exactly what they need to for uh, Lord Slug. So really, really happy about that. So that leaves the big old question. When are these guys coming? So Slug is scheduled to drop on October 30th at 7 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. So for most of you guys, that's going to be on October 1st Halloween. So officially the Halloween Dokkan Festival. So that's really nice. Along with him, we're also getting a Kid Goku. Uh, ha a Kid Gohan uh, Awakening from the Lord Slug Dragon Ball Story event, who, which is getting a Dragon Ball Story uh, revamp. So that's going to be really cool. They they finally awaken that in it, Kid Gohan. So now let's talk about the leader skill um, because I think this is um, this is his 200% leader skill. It's I mean it's it's about who you'd expect, right? A lot of the villain, terrifying conquerors types. You had a few extras on here that are going to be really cool, right? Like having um like having Meki Kabura and like the demons uh from Heroes is really nice considering um that we are getting uh like like Meki Kabura should be easy aim in this batch of heroes so that'll be really nice as long as he's not restricted to heroes which I don't think he currently is so I don't think they're going to add that restriction afterwards so this would be really cool Namekians are all on here like right you have LR uh Demon King Piccolo and just his standard 170 right his standard 170 is really interesting because it includes right Majins it includes Namekians now this this is interesting because this is included including Daima lore now, right? If you guys, spoilers, if you've seen Dragon Ball Daima, we know that, right, Namekians were once demons um, who, uh, from the demon realm. So them being on demonic power makes sense, right? We have Hirudagarn, we have the, um, we have the booze. Now what's really interesting is Gohans are on here. Now I know a lot of people are thrown off on that, but uh, remember Gohan did train under Piccolo and was basically, you know, he is a disciple of the demon clan. So it makes sense that he is on the demonic power, right? A lot of his attacks are demon attacks modeled after Piccolo. So it makes sense that Gohan is on there. And the fact that Gohan is on there actually leads me to believe the easy A for the celebration is not in fact going to be what I know most people are wanting right like i know most people are wanting to see like bojack and possibly fizz lord slug and uh to, to help out lord slug which i can still see so bojack is a likely candidate just being that he is on the inhuman deeds lead um and i could definitely see a batch easy a for these guys happening the full power bojack the this guy and this guy like i can see a 30 stone batch easy a uh showing up uh given that they all i believe they're all from story event awakening so they can't really do easy a uh battles for this one uh but i don't think bojack's gonna be the main dokkan fest in fact given that gohan is on the category i think it's very likely we could see kid gohan being the major easy a for this celebration um given that he is on the demonic power and i think this is you know I mean, we could also see Garlic Jr., right, get his sub EZA. This would be the perfect time to do it because I don't really know that we'll ever get another true Garlic Jr. celebration. Heck, I doubt Garlic Jr. will ever get a DFE, or at least not in the near future. So this is probably the time to do this. Um, and it makes sense, too, because as you guys know, in the data download a few months ago, there was an asset update for the Int Goku and Piccolo, which means that they could very well EZA as well during the celebration to match the gohan they don't match any of the dokkan fest categories but the, they could just easy a to match with gohan and and this guy right they seem to be doubling up on easy a's lately so i could definitely see a lot of that happening um it's really really interesting choice i'm excited that they did finally bring lord slug the category itself demonic power i think has a lot of work it's interesting that they uh chose to leave out kai's um which i mean from the same lore for the namekians we, we know that certain kai's fall under the uh demonic uh that are considered demons but are not on the category i wonder if that means anything but who knows maybe we'll find that out later but definitely excited for Lars slug now that i've had time to sort of digest what he's doing i like him i definitely i don't think he's the best you are released um this year i do think kind of vegeta boo and goku really hold down that fort very very nicely depending on the content that they're in um but i definitely see this guy irking his way up into maybe slot four or five 
five. He's honestly pretty good. Based on what I'm seeing here, of course, we will need to test him in game when he drops on the 30th as we, you know, we don't want to make our full judgment until then, but I'm really liking what I'm seeing and I'm excited for the potential of a Kid Gohan EPA because I definitely think that's what's going to happen because Gokan, uh, Dokan be Dokan sometimes. They like to, uh, if there's an obvious easy A, they're going to go with the least obvious one. That's what I'll say. So, guys, that is it for the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let us know what do you think of the new Lord Slug Dokkan Fest. Remember, this guy will have pity um, as the monthly T Dokkan Fest, so that means if, if you've got the stones, it's probably, I mean, it might probably be worth it to jump on in and grab a copy. Uh, remember, there will be guaranteed featured steps as well, so it'll be really fun, really interesting, nice little uh, Halloween Dokkan Fest for you. So that's it for the video. If nothing else, guys, thanks for watching. And aloha.